New and high for mill 2019.1 is a new function in profile finishing at the moment called high precision surface mode as opposed to not high precision surface mode. There's a G1, there's a maximum G1 length here. And with high precision mode on, uh, this all disappears. And <clears throat> The reason to use this, if I've got very smooth, very smooth, bland curvature surfaces, this could be like a, um, a car roof, a car deck lid, a car hood, something that's big and low curvature. So the initially what the tool path will look like with high precision mode off due to the fact that we're calculating on a mesh and not on a surface we'll end up getting some faceting on a smooth, bland surface because you would need a tremendous number of triangles in there to approximate that surface. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's some, um, some faceting in there. If I turn the points on, you might be able to see that too. Okay some faceting in the surfaces. Now, if I turn the other tool path on, okay, this is one, you can see these kind of facets in there. And then you see it smoothed out in this version. So in this version, you have high precision surface mode uh, the G1 spacing is taken care of automatically. And what this does is it calculates points and then it projects each one of those points back onto surface to make a smoother, uh, to make a smoother tool path and, and more accurate. So here you can see many more points being calculated, each one of those on surface versus this is a five micron machining tolerance, four millimeter G1, maximum G1 length, no high precision surface mode. And <clears throat> this kind of surface could lead to some faceting. So with the ball mill profile finishing, this has been solved with this function here. New in Hypermill 2019.1. <laughs>